Hello guys, I wanted to upload this video a little bit before Now I'm going to be uploading two videos today probably It's going to be this one and my first actual stardom video on World of Warships That's what I want to cover on this one Just so everything kind of makes sense for the next upcoming video Now I might repeat a couple of things in the next video because I was trying to do the same thing there But it wasn't really working the best and it would work a whole lot better like this, I figured out. Now, there is four different classes in World of Warships, Legends. The Destroyers, the Cruisers, and the Battleships. And there's also the Carrier. This is a Cruiser. This is a Battleship. Least but not least, a Carrier. Which is pretty much the artillery of World of Tanks. Uh, this is very much created by the same company, World Gaming, as World of Tanks. Now, there's also World of Planes, but that isn't on console. So, we're not going to recover that. Now, battleships are your heavy, carriers are your artillery, cruisers, your medium, destroyers. Your sneaky light tank in a bus. Just there is no buses. This is a straight up sneaky. And they have smoke screens to hide themselves. And stuff like that. And just like water tanks, best way to kill a cruiser. No, wait, that is royal. Is either what's not a royal or what's a cruiser? Fire one HC. Now. HC works best on the Soyos because they do not have much armor, just like for the tanks. Cruisers fall victim to battleships with the really high guns and AP cells, especially if they get Citadel. Now, Citadel is basically like your ammo rack if you've played World of Tanks. And it is found right here in the side of your ship. I just realized how big my Cynodel is in my Pets Dakota. That actually kind of makes sense why I was getting Cynodel so much now. <laughs> now, giving them your side or your broadside is a pretty good way to get Cynodel. Sometimes you can get Cynodel from the front. I guess this is a good ship to sew it at because, well, this thing actually looks to be made out of a citadel by the looks of it. Now, just about every sip has one. Unless. Oh no! It does get a citadel. Who would have thought? Way in the middle. It's a pretty good open target. The only problem is. This is that with the soil. So you'll probably just over penetrate, which is a thing you'll actually get in War Thunder, I believe. Yes, War Thunder. No armor is best armor. Reduce downs to the sip. The soils could use that against a uh, battleship fire and AP. They do minimal damage to you, and you could kill them with your lovely torpedoes. Which do a lot of damage if you're in a disloyal of 11,000. But if you're fighting a carrier and you see it drop torpedoes, don't worry too much. Still try to dodge them. But carriers have a reduced damage amount. This one barely does 4,000 per, torp per torpedo. Now there's going to be 6 in the water because mine is less than it drops all of them at one time. So you have six torpedoes to dodge. But the Soyuz, God hope they don't fire at you. Especially with their torpedoes. Because it's about 12 damage per torpedo. And there's loser of round 8 to 10. To the most in the game. Which I believe is 15 in a legendary sip Japanese Simikaze. Now, some cruisers don't have torpedoes, such as my Pepsi Cola, but they make up for it in having bigger guns because this has a 203 millimeter 
Now some have torpedoes, but they have small guns. But they also usually have more of them. These are 152s, accompanied with some lovely torpedoes. And this is going to be my introduction to World of Warships for you. Hopefully this clears up some of the upcoming videos because this is going to be one of my new series. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope it was helpful, and I'll catch you in future videos. Fair seas, Captain.